Greetings, Kropcha here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play, a continuation after the challenge. Um, okay, so in today's episode, uh, I would like to uh, share with you guys uh, how I'm approaching um, Doom Tower uh, rotation. So currently we have a second rotation, this is Eternal Dragon 1, which will uh, take for like um, four weeks or so. And why I would like to talk about this and how approaching, because uh, mostly about uh, the gear uh, which is uh, you can forge uh, from materials that you are farming in this uh, uh, game content, so yeah, Doom Tower. Uh, so in this rotation uh, we have few of uh, them, so one of them is uh, Affinity Breaker. Uh, so this one drops from the spider um, Yeah, okay, very specific one uh, If you are facing some uh, issues with weak hits uh, You could consider uh, forging, this uh, forging this gear and equip your champs to, to um, do some um, crazy tactics Very specific one uh, at the beginning I will not recommend uh, to farm this uh, gear, for this gear. Second one is uh, Fatal. Uh, Fatal is from Magma Dragon. Um, yeah, this is attack plus crit rate, nothing amazing, so we're, uh, you need this for the new girls. But for the new girls you get uh, much better gears. Uh, and generally you don't need a lot of nukers on your account mostly supports, tanks and uh, jumps that bring some utility uh, another one is blood first this is from eternal dragon um, crit rate um, and lifesteal built in do you need lifesteal? yeah very very specific one uh, lifesteal drops uh, at the beginning uh, the game so if you got leech or, or some uh, champion that are healing so yeah i'm not sure if this uh, any point to farm uh, this gear but the final one that i would like to farm for sure is the guardian so from the griffin um, so this is built in like uh, um, region it's not uh, so good as region uh, set from the uh, fire knight it heals only by 10%, not 15%, uh, but it will also do some kind of uh, ally protection uh, for your champs. Yeah, so for the progression, for building faction wars, teams, this is very good. Also, you can equip uh, some of your clan boss uh, champs uh, with that uh, to have better sustain in this fight. Yeah, so very good. So my plan is to farm the Guardian set. So as you see, I already uh, farmed some. So we got uh, even those gold um, green feathers. Yeah, so that's good. So I'll, I'll be forging later some of it. Okay, so um, according to that, so what is my approach here directly in the Doom Tower? So on the first day, I completed first 10, ten stages uh, only because if I will fail or you know depends on your account situation if you fail to complete it on the heart uh, so it will you will have problem with completing completing uh, advanced quests because in advanced quests I think every day got like uh, use uh, five silver keys in Doom Tower so if you are not clearing the first uh, 10 floor yeah then uh, you probably will skip uh, the, the final reward which is this uh, potion which is not optimal yeah so that's why i am choosing just to complete on the first day uh, the normal 10 floors but after that full stop here and i'm switching to the heart so hard, yeah, this also depends on your account situation and jumps you have. If you are able to push through the floors, then you can uh, start farming uh, bosses here. Okay, so, so far I uh, managed to clear first griffin, uh, first magma dragon and first spider. So 
Yeah, um, so let me share maybe quickly what teams I'm using. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Eternal Dragon, but that's uh, maybe I'll share in the next episode what's going on there. Okay, so for the spider, uh, you need uh, some resistance, uh, so that's why I'm using Brogni here. Also Cleanser, so Ancora here, um, revives, so that's why also Arbiter and uh, Ancora is here. Uh, Ratalos for the damage and uh, Armi uh, Armans, Armans, right, uh, is uh, to, to, to clear the waves a little bit faster. And his main uh, reason for in this team also is the Brimstone uh, with the Smite debuff. Very useful, uh, it will help a lot with clearing uh, of those bosses uh, because the Brimstone is do doing portion of the max enemy HP damage, which is very good. So I highly recommend to bring someone with uh, Brimstone Blessing uh, to those fights. This is Doom Tower hard, so this is not easy uh, fight. So this will be very useful. So most of the team to just uh, sustain and keep team alive, and two guys to do some damage. And Tratalo generally to clear the the, the spiders. Um, yeah. So that's the approach here. Uh, Magma Dragon. I think this is the easiest one. Uh, of course, if you uh, have. Uh, Mm, good champs, uh, maybe not good, but uh, with specific skill sets, right? So here I'm using Toragi and Skiramis, those two uh, are most important because they are bringing uh, Provoke. So if Magma Dragon is provoked, uh, he will not uh, use his uh, abilities. Do not bring uh, HP Burn in those teams because uh, Magma Dragon will heal himself. Just remember about that. So pretty standard team, I don't see anything specific. Okay, but uh, the Griff itself is a very uh, specific one. And this could be tricky because this is some kind of damage race. Yeah, so maybe let me, let me start uh, a fight here and I will discuss my approach here. Okay, so Griffin is uh, Spirit Affinity and uh, he hits really hard, even on this uh, stage. So my approach and strategy for that is to bring all the champions from the Magic Affinity to be uh, strong against the Spirit. Yeah, so I want to ensure that, uh, or maybe improve the chance that uh, um, Griffin will uh, weak hit most of the time. Yeah, so all my champs are magic affinity, so got Toragi uh, with uh, resistance aura, uh, Ugo with cleanses, uh, debuffs, Ancora, uh, the, the same thing. Uh, very important here is also uh, Coven's Master Share, uh, that's a big surprise here, uh, because he's bringing decrease attack, which is also very important. Uh, so my strategy here is to uh, not uh, to rush it you could probably but i would like to stay on safe side uh, of this fight and uh, yeah bringing decrease attack will help you a lot yeah so a lot of weak hits so th that's good uh, so griffin will each turn uh, at one of this sky bond, uh, which will increase attack, crit rate, crit damage, and speed. When he will reach 20, it will, he will start to hitting really hard, and that's why, yeah, bringing someone, uh, a team with uh, the strong affinity against the, this boss, uh, will prevent uh, most likely uh, to hit very hard. Right, so I prefer to have for like. <clears throat> have, have a safe fight here. I hope this one will succeed. Yeah, uh, so Armand's here also uh, with the Brimstone and Smite. So yeah, now it landed. So that's very good. So when boss will use his uh, not A1 uh, skill but A2 or A3, so Rock Smash or Death Gust, so he will, yeah, now uh, get this uh, Smite. Uh, big damage. 
here. Yeah, so we are approaching uh, 20 stacks of Skybound. So he will now be, be hitting even harder. But my team so far looks, looks good, uh, nice and healthy. Two, two guys a little bit lower on the health. And that's why I'm bringing two revivers also with that. So if you could do that, yeah, that, that's that's perfect. So Ankora and Ugo. Ugo is a little bit specific because whole need, team needs to die. Then he will revive everybody. And Ankora single target revive and clear those debuffs that uh, he's bringing back to, to your team. Yeah. So revive, I think this should be easy easy win we are close okay and done uh, at this floor so floor 10 you're not getting a lot um, of uh, resources but it's good than nothing <laughs> uh, so yeah you can will get like one to three let's check the reward info yeah here uh, one, two, three, uh, the epic ones, right, the, the purple one, and uh, legendary only only one. Uh, so up on floor 50 you will get more, but uh, the, the boss will, uh, the stats will be, be higher. So I'm planning for now to, uh, for the next two days far, uh, stay uh, floor 10 then 50 and maybe if i will progress further i will try to fart the hardest we'll see if this works but generally my approach is weak hits that, that's the, the the idea here uh, it's tricky but uh, you can just rerun rerun because it's not using any energy just keys uh, so hopefully you can succeed on that so that's my approach here maybe i will release another episode about eternal dragon how to deal with this guy but i think uh, armas will be huge here because of the two meter manipulation and uh, stance and cooldown uh, increase yeah so that will be uh, useful very here very useful here okay so today short one i think uh, i answered some of your question because that was one of my comment on the previous episode so if you have more questions about approaches, strategies, uh, how to progress, please let me know in the comments and see you on the next one. Cheers.